Jordan ready to catch some fish? Scott? Good. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video on the channel. I've got Jordan and Scott, my two guests today, doing another video uh, like the last one where I said I don't film on guide trips. Well, now I'm gonna start doing it depending on who's in the boat. So I think the plan today, we're gonna go rip on the big schools of white bass like we did in the last video for the first bit. And then I think after that, we're gonna do some trolling for saugers. That's gonna be what we're showing you guys today since I did white bass in the last video. So we'll go over all these big rods behind us. We'll go over the planer boards. I'll do the best I can to explain everything, what we're doing with these guys in the boat because I don't really do a very good job talking to the camera. But yeah, we're just gonna be trolling little crankbaits. Little baits this time of the year are key. That's a number five Berkeley Flicker Shad. Don't really start using the big baits just yet. They do uh, in this kind of like March, April time frame. They really like that smaller size. So yeah, should be fun. Sun just kind of popped out. Uh, it's usually kind of been a later biter, later trolling bite, I should say for us. So yeah, I don't know, wind's blowing. I uh, got a good chop over the shallow flats. So we'll just get these uh, baits set and we'll see what happens. The remote here. I've just got it on a heading lock, so the trolling oh, motor is just keeping okay. us in a straight line. Oh, there's one fish on. Oh, yep, he's on. Here we go. First one. Let's go. Now just keep the rod up and just keep it bent. Don't pump, bring it on the inside here. Because it'll just cruise right over that inside line, and then I'll, t I'll take that board off, and then it'll be good. You'll be able to just fight the fish after I clip that board off. So yeah, just keep reeling, that, you're good. Perfect, nice. Okay, start reeling. Just don't wanna drop any slack in that line and you're good. Cause there's a, uh, there's slack in between the two clips. Okay. So when one pulls on the other, oh, it's just a white. That's weird. I don't know how we caught a freaking white bass up this shell. <laughs> yeah, that didn't surprise me though. Cause that board, like when you get a big fish on or they hit real hard, the flag won't even go down right away. The board will just dip back into the spread, like get pulled back, so. But yeah, when I reset this one, I'll show you, but the two clips that are on the board, when you put a slack in between them, there's a spring system behind the board. Uh -huh. So it gets pulled down like that. Get him, nice. Some good work, all right. So then with this one, what, because that one's gonna be the outside, all I do is just let line out until I get the length that I want, clip the board on, send the board straight back, engage it, and then the board will plane all the way out to the side. Pretty cool. That's awesome. So if we do it right, it shouldn't tangle up in the other lines. There's a big pot of fish off 60 feet right there. That's one of those should be out there. No, you're good. No worries. Get on out there. Three and a half feet. Does that make you nervous? There's nope. There's a fish on the outside board. I think. Yep. It's your turn, bro. All right. Let's do it. So yeah, same thing. Just keep it up high and just reel. Don't pump or anything. And then just try and keep it over and it'll come right on the inside. 
but you'll want to keep stay down in the cockpit because once the board gets close, then I'll just have you start walking backwards. Gotcha. First one, first toothy one. You think? Oh yeah. Yeah, we're not, that was not a white bass bite and we're not gonna catch whites up in three feet here. So yeah, keep it, keep it high to keep that up. There you go. Okay. Okay, now start reeling. That's okay. It's gonna happen. We were making the turn, so that's probably why. Wallace himself. I think he's 15, I don't know. Nope, that's a, that's a sauger. There you go. Sauger town. Nice, well, it's still up in three feet. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that warmer water or? Yeah, probably just up there. Like, especially when we were catching them the other day, the sun was beating down and there was no wind and it was probably so warm up in the oh, mud bet, for those yeah. fish. Oh, outside board. There we go. Try and slow the boat down a little bit here. Oh, there you go. So should I be rolling faster? Or? Yeah, I mean, the best thing you can do is just keep the tip up and just try not to let that board dive. Here, keep it just a little, like at a 45. That's the only issue with the waves that it starts to bounce. Now, hold on, give it slack, let it float. Oh, now bring it back okay. up, okay. Now, yeah, once you get it up, then keep it up. Nice. Okay, start walking back. Okay, now start reeling. Now just go slow. Nope, he's there. He's not big, but it's fish. Oh, wow. It's another one. Sauger. They love that purple. That one ate it though. He's got both, oh, yeah. both trebles in his head. Nice. It's good color. Yeah. Dinosaur fish. That's number two on that color. <laughs> good thing I got a lot of them. But that's what you want to do with trolling. That's why you put four colors out, figure out which one they're keying in yeah. on, then switch them all out. And then just control it with the dial because the throttle's so touchy. It's yeah. like you're in gear and then you're going three miles an hour. Yeah. With this, it's a lot more precise. Is there a fish on? Has there been a fish on this whole time? I don't know. There is. Indeed, and it's huge. Wanna take that one? Might as well. Oh, now he feels bigger. It's actually not a bad sauger. <laughs> Thanks for letting me catch one, guys. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm like, yeah, let me tell you all about the eye troll system. Meanwhile, we look over. There's a fish on and I'm like, hey, it doesn't feel big. And they're like, you reel it in. He ate that. Nice. You wanna eat this one? Yeah. For dinner? Oh yeah. Oh my God. Dude. Freaking sauger booty. <laughs> they let me catch one. Unreal. A lot of sperm. Nice. Scott's gonna eat him for dinner. So as far as this lake in particular, is the South Fork any good? Or I mean, do you normally stay in the, the main body? Oh, I think, hold on. There's fish on that outside board. Okay. <laughs> but 
But yeah, no, I mean, it just depends on what you want to fish for, you know? The creek down there, that's a lot shallower area. It was a little bit deeper. Just kind of slowed us down too. Slowed us down from like two to one seven. See if that makes a difference. Yeah, try and lead him over here. It is the target species. Or I'm gonna measure this one just for size reference because he might be 15. Nice. Yeah, he'll be close. Ugh, I don't know. Let's see, I'm just trying to keep his semen off of everyone. <laughs> oh, he's there. Yep. Nice. Another eater. Uh, yeah. Lot of j yuck. Feels kind of a little bit heavier. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, he's pulling. Okay, go. And just go slow. Oh, we got a double. I think. Yeah, there's one on this one too. Yeah, there's one on this one too, bud. Might be another keeper. Oh yeah, keeper, flip them in. Nice. Sweet. Dude. Chartreuse or the... That pink UV. UV. Just put that color on. All right, gotta try and get this guy on button real quick. I can grab him if you want. Okay. Take him up to that board and just put him on the bump board and see. Slide your finger up in there. There you go. Okay, go ahead. This is fun. <laughs> How big is that one, Scott? Nice. This one I think is gonna be a good one too. Oh, no, he's just so funny. Little guy. Hold on, I'll get him. Oh. Woo. Hell yeah. Two first. You can throw them in here, bud. Dinner. You go back and grow up. Woo! All right, well, let's kind of explain what we're doing here. So we're running crankbaits, little guys. This is a number six shad wrap here, pink UV. That's the one we just got bit on. So we're pretty much putting those back about 35, 40 feet. And then affixing the planer board onto the line here. We've got the Fox River 8.6 medium trolling rod, one of my favorite board rods. And that's our outside one. So we'll get that one back. Oh, like 42, I think, is where we got bit last time. And then we'll get the board on. So on the tattle flag system, we put some slack in between the two clips here, and then that makes the flag go down. And just get it out, put your clicker on, let the pressure take it out, good to go. Hey, fish on, fish. <laughs> I'm just trying to explain what we're doing over here and 
Now our whole spread is cleared, except <laughs> that's great. Yeah, forward is tight. There you go. Set this one out to 100 and get it out of the way. Come over here and get Scott's board off. Now walk backwards. Oh, he's off. Poop. That was a hard rip, though. That was a hard rip. But that's what you guys want to do is just spread your whole deal out. So we've got those back 45. We'll put this one back 30 because we're trolling pretty shallow here. Maybe four to six feet of water at max. Just let her go. We're going about 1.7 to two miles an hour, at least trying to stay that way anyway. I have to slow down just a little bit. But yeah, then just throw her in the rod holder and you'll be good. I didn't get a tarp yet either. Whoa, big, big rip, big rip, big rip. Wow. That was quite the, uh, that was quite the pop. <laughs> I hope it's not a white bass, but I think it is because he's going sideways. <clears throat> Still fun though. Oh yeah. Oh, you already said it. You More put it in the universe. Yeah, it's definitely. Mm, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Never know. Oh yeah, nice fish, dude. Nice fish. Good sauger. Got her. Nice. That's four for dinner, boy. Beauty. That is a good one. That purple is on fuego. Yeah, we're like, hey, it's a white bass. <laughs> oh, this is definitely not a white bass. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that weird marking he's got. Man. Super cool. Nice. Keeper number four. Dandy little skinny guy. He will make a good dinner fish. Yeah, buddy you in a raffle for like a pc fun reel or something the next month or whatever there's one yep on the outside as we were turning here that's gonna be a nice one i gotta slow the boat down a lot yeah that's a big fish if that's not a drum that's a big one wouldn't that be some <laughs> Yeah, it's got weight. Okay, start reeling. Yep, another good one. Good ish. We're gonna net him anyway. Wow, he was supposed to be a lot bigger than that. <laughs> be long and skinny though. Sauger here. Well, put him on the board and just we'll see. Yeah, you're good. Nice. Number five. Perfect 15er. Spermy guy eat, eating for dinner. That's right. That number five purple blackback flicker yeah, shad man, has been good. on fuego. So I guess he didn't have any crabs up or anything. Evidently not. Oh, here. fish on. Fish on. No, I had to go to Iowa to get it. Here you go. This one I think will be the right flavor. It was a very yeah, light. What's going on with that one? Okay. Yep, it's the right flavor though. I'm gonna net him just in case. Walleye, nope, sauger, nice one. That should be number six. That should be number six, yeah, hell yeah it is. Skinny boy. On the chartreuse pearl. 
put that chartreuse pearl on because that sun came out and I, they liked that reflective one the other day. Dude, look at that. Look at the floor. Oh, dude, come on. Do you want to finish that in the water? <laughs> Here, I'll go show this one to the folks at home. Here we go, that's number six for the boys. Beauty. to me all right guys well we're off the water that was a pretty successful little trolling session we got on those uh, white bass real good and then decided that we didn't want to catch 100 white bass and got on that shallow sauger bite super fun time uh the hot colors today were absolutely that dark purple right there had another one like purple tiger with the chartreuse last keeper i think came on that chartreuse pearl but yeah all my planer board rods and uh any other flatline rods are the 8.6 uh fox river and then the 710 i run the 8.6s on the outside boards and then the 710s on the inside 10 pound braid no leader always make sure you put a crankbait swivel on there so that those baits can run properly but yeah we were running all of our fish pretty much came in like three and a half maybe four to six feet of water at best super shallow they're up there just uh, obviously as you can tell pretty freshly post spawn still creaming all over the place but yeah super good time we were kind of variating between like 1.7 and 2 miles an hour i think 1.7 was the hot ticket really fun really appreciate scott and jordan for letting me film on the guide trip that was fun not something i usually do but uh, trying to do it just a little bit more often now so yeah as you can tell we've got some uh fish to clean and scott's got dinner tonight that's all i have for you guys today all the links uh, for the gear that we use today as well as the discount codes are down in the description pick up a chase bites not boats t-shirt in the merch store and i'll uh, see you guys on the next video